Now Jim Cramer came out and said that he's getting back into Ethereum. This is pretty interesting because just one week ago he came out and said, I'm selling almost all of my position in Bitcoin. About a month ago he said he sold half of his Ethereum, but now he says, look, I think it's about time to start getting back into Ethereum. He cited a couple of different reasons why he's getting back into Ethereum instead of getting back into Bitcoin. So we're just going to talk about all of that, have a bit of a conversation about benefits of Ethereum versus Bitcoin, what he said, and we're also going to go over a couple of things that I think he's really missing out on in terms of Ethereum, some of his reasonings behind it, and some things that I think could push the price even higher. So if you can, please be sure to like the video, subscribe, and if you don't already have the public.com investing app, make sure to go ahead and follow me on that. You can buy stocks, sell stocks, and see exactly what I'm buying and selling in real time, as well as a full portfolio breakdown. Think of it like an investing app combined with social media. It is completely free to follow me. Use the code Michael when you sign up and you'll get up to $50 in a free stock. But anyways, let's start off here. This is the beginning. So Jim Cramer came out on May 5th, 2021 and said, look, I'm selling off almost half of my Ethereum to put towards an all electric Hummer. He had said that he had bought his Ethereum simply because he wanted to participate in an auction for an NFT um, put up for sale by Time Magazine. He said it didn't go through. So we ended up just selling off about half of his Ethereum because he kept it for a while in January price has gone up and he said, now I could use it to put down on a Hummer. Then, so that was on May 5th, 2021. Then just a little while after, about a week ago on June 21st, 2021, Jim Cramer came out and said, I sold almost all of my Bitcoin because he feared what was going on in China, all the crackdowns going on in China with Bitcoin mining, with uh, crypto purchases in general. And he said, in addition to that, between everything going on in China, also he didn't want to take part in Bitcoin's role in some of the ransomware attacks and the legal activities. He didn't want to be associated with that. Either way, though, right now, Bitcoin has been stabilizing over the last couple of days, which is a good sign. Right now, we are seeing Bitcoin's price currently at $34,000 per coin, $34,247 per coin. We had dropped to about $28,000 for um, just a couple of hours, but then we did bounce back. Now we're seeing it hold between that thirty dollars and $35,000 per coin range. And that is really the key support level, the $30,000 mark. So even though we did break below it, things are looking pretty good. Now on June 28th, Jim Cramer came out and said that he officially bought back into Ethereum and he bought back into Ethereum instead of Bitcoin coin because Bitcoin's price held $30,000 per coin. So his main reason was that Bitcoin's price held $30,000. So he thinks that that means we're in a consolidation period and we're not entering a bear market. And this is just interesting because exactly one week ago, he had said that he sold off all of his Bitcoin. He said all the issues with China, um, illegal activities. He said he wanted nothing to do with Bitcoin, really. And it seemed like that was his stance on crypto in general because he had said he sold off half his position in Ethereum in May. Then he said he sold off all of his position of Bitcoin in June. So it didn't seem like he really liked it. But now he came out and said just today on June 28th that he decided to enlarge his Ether position because he believes it has more utility than Bitcoin, which may which many crypto bulls hold up as a store of value similar to d digital gold. And he says even though some companies do accept Bitcoin as a form of payment, he sees that Ethereum is something that people are actually have more use cases. He says people are, are going to be able to buy things with Ethereum. He was able to buy NFTs um, and things like that. So those are his main reasons. He says the NFTs because that's the reason he got into Ethereum. He got into Ethereum because he wanted to purchase an NFT from Time Magazine. But what he's missing out on is all of the other applications of Ethereum. So a couple things, the biggest story that I like to talk about with Ethereum in terms of use cases, which I think a lot of people miss out on, is what is going on with Ethereum and it being tested by the Bank of Israel, because this is one of the most practical use cases I've seen for any crypto out there. And that is that the Bank of Israel did a pilot program where they tested a specific use case of Ethereum to see how it could be used real world. And this is one of the main reasons why I love Ethereum, love Cardano, love all these DeFi coins and all their applications, such as smart contracts, NFTs, and 
DeFi in general. But anyways, the Bank of Israel, what they did is they tested the ability to program a car ownership title as an NFT and send it to someone else via smart, when the smart contract was fulfilled. So essentially what they did is they said, look, we're going to put this title of a car on an NFT and make it an NFT. So it's now a digital asset because that's all NFTs are. And as soon as someone pays you a certain amount of Ethereum or a certain amount of Cardano or whatever the platform is you're using, it'll automatically transfer the car title from one person to another and because of this in my opinion this is the coolest application for ethereum in general and it's just the beginning so uh, jim kramer says that his his reasoning for buying um ethereum and adding more to that instead of bitcoin is because of all the use cases with ethereum he specifically spoke about nfts but that's just the surface because there are smart contracts which can combine with nfts similar to what the bank of israel did by programming an nft to transfer from one person to another as soon as payment was received so there's so many use cases for ethereum i think with eth 2.0 and eip 1559 getting rolled out very soon i think these upgrades are going to will allow institutions to feel more comfortable investing in ethereum and also once we see the sec approve a bitcoin and ethereum etf i think ethereum definitely will be able to get closer to bitcoin in terms of market cap and at some point i think we will see it surpass bitcoin in terms of market cap just because bitcoin doesn't have as many use cases it's like a store of value it's treated as a digital gold but it doesn't have smart contracts nfts it's not it doesn't have all the DeFi applications that Ethereum has. So either way, I, I think what Jim Cramer said is definitely true about the use cases, but I think there's so much more to Ethereum than just NFTs. And I think all of this will really start to take off as soon as we start to see the big money players and in institutions get, in, get involved once we see a Bitcoin or Ethereum ETF approved, which should happen within the next six to 12 months. But let me know what you guys think. Um, just a little conversation about what's going on with Jim Cramer, how he added to his position, of ethereum instead of bitcoin and why he did that but let me know uh, i hope you enjoyed today's video and i'll see you in the next one